Is your teacher making you learn literary devices? Well, I can help you. I will be talking about six literary devices. They are onomatopoeia, alliteration, hyperbole, oxymoron, consonants, and illusion. Hey, hello, I'm here. How have you been? That, my friend, was an alliteration. An alliteration is the repeated sound at the beginnings of words near each other. Here, let me give you some examples. This is a classic. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Oh, you might want to keep this one in mind when you're baking. Better butter makes a better batter. And Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Oh, Sally. Swish! Did you hear that? That sounds like onomatopoeia, which is what I will be talking about up next. Onomatopoeia is a word that imitates the sound it represents. The bird went chirp, chirp. The driver of the car honked the horn. Honk, honk. The pig squealed happily when their food arrived. Oink, oink. A hyperbole does not mean you're hyper. It is an extreme exaggeration or overstatement like she is as skinny as a toothpick, that new car cost a bazillion dollars, and his brain was the size of a pea. Okay, first of all, if your brain was the size of a pea, you would be dead by now. An oxymoron is the juxtaposition of two opposite or contradictory terms. For example, the waffle was freezer burned, the kids were alone together, and that cake was awfully delicious. How can it be awful but delicious at the same time? An illusion is a casual reference to a famous person, place, or thing in history, literature, or culture. Here are some examples. I was surprised his nose was not growing like Pinocchio's. This is alluding that he was lying because Pinocchio's nose always grows when he lies. Chocolate is her Achilles heel, alluding that chocolate is her weakness. After she and her friend had a big fight, she acted like a total Scrooge. This is alluding that she was grumpy like Scrooge from A Christmas Carol. The repetition of consonant sounds in close proximity is consonants. The lumpy, bumpy road, Mike likes his new bike, and the black sack is in the back. They all sound the same. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned and know more about these six literary devices. These aren't all the literary devices in the world, but these are some of the most common. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! Created using Powtoon.